hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorena and I am a kindergarten teacher. So today's video is a little different than what I normally film. I do normally do week in the life, day in the life, etc, etc. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a how-to video. How to create a digital portfolio. To apply to several different school districts out of the state of New Jersey. I knew that I wanted to create a digital portfolio because of the easiness of it as opposed to using a website or creating a website using Google Sites. When I was doing my research on digital portfolios especially in the time of corona when you know a lot of these meetings are happening virtually I needed to create something digital. So when I was doing my research I found a lot of digital portfolios that were website based whether it was using Google Sites or any other website platform, I knew that this wasn't for me. I've had to create a website before using Google Sites and honestly, it is easy, but you can't really tailor it to your aesthetic per se. So I was like, I don't wanna go this route. I need to think of something different. So I thought, let me use what I already know how to use well and tweak it a little bit to make it into the digital portfolio that I feel proud to share. So I did just that using three different apps. I used Word, Canva, and Adobe. These three apps are paid subscriptions. However, for the most of us, um, we already have like an office suite embedded into our computers or our work computers, whatever the case may be. So that's taken care of. Um, Canva. Canva does have a free version and they also have a membership version. However, if you are an educator, you are eligible to get the premium version for free. So think about that and Adobe. Adobe Reader is usually free for anyone just because it's what reads our PDF files. So Adobe does give you a week trial where you're able to use all of its programs and all of its features for a week free. Now, I know that some of you have done this already, so I'm not saying anything that's new, but if you have multiple emails, maybe this is a way to kind of work around it as far as getting extending that time if you don't want to pay the full price. There is a discount for teachers and students, so you can definitely use that if you are interested in purchasing this Adobe suite for continuous use. So as you'll see, my digital portfolio includes a lot of images and a lot of videos. I knew that when I sent this out to administration, I wanted them to see what I'm about, as opposed to kind of just reading about it. While many of them may prefer to have you to have a teaching philosophy, that's totally fine. I decided against it. I'm not a job expert. I'm not an employment um, seeker. So I'm not sure if this is exactly what they want, but it worked for me because I did get a lot of callbacks and a lot of interviews just by using my digital portfolio. Now, disclaimer, I am not a job employment recruiter, an employment expert, a teaching job hiring process manager, none of that stuff. I'm simply someone who was seeking employment and wanted to create something that would sell myself. All right, so now let's dive into Canva. So this is what my teaching portfolio looks like. I know I'm going kind of fast, but I'll show you in a second exactly what I did and how you can do this. So what I did was I created my cover page. So sim very simple, my name and teaching portfolio. And this back here is just a simple rectangle shape and I just changed the color of it, which you can do very easily on Canva. I included two elements, which you'll find right here as well. You could just type in anything from apples um, and you'll get it. This is the one that I used. Um, you can change the transparency, which I did with the small one. You can change pretty much anything that you want here. So very simple. Then I dove in and what I did was I separated by theme, by content area. This is my literacy-based learning and what it looks like in the classroom. I've um, picked this um, simple element. So if you go on here, you can just type in washi tape um, and you can kind of pick from any of these, as, you know, you can pick and then you can pick from whatever you want from here. Again, it's totally customizable to what you want, but this is just what I did. So this is my literacy-based learning. Now I got, I had some pictures from when I was in the classroom when kids were fully in person that I saved throughout the years. And you can do this as well. If you can't take pictures now, use what you have. 
So this is Write the Room. So this is some of the literacy based activities that we're doing in the classroom. This will tell the administration that you like to have kids up and moving. Um, I also did some of the sentence writing activities that we did, which we simply use Play-Doh, dry erase markers, and a baking sheet. So again, this will kind of show your principal or the admin, whoever's looking at it, what you're all about. Instead of just reading about it, they can actually see it in practice. So pretty much picture, and then a very brief title as to what skill they're working on. So we're gonna keep going in and the and I also added like little subheadings here in the bottom. Same thing for math-based learning. Um, and as you can see, I only picked six pictures. I didn't want to overwhelm it with so many pictures, but here are just some pictures of the activities that reflect different kindergarten skills. I also made sure to incorporate um, digital learning and how that's infused in the classroom. Graphing, very simple. Science and technology, so you can also include field trips. Um, exploration, these are just some of the words that I use. Thematic units, real experiences. So here we brought some ladybugs into the classroom. Um, and using the classroom technology, maybe incorporate how you use that in your daily practice. Um, and then outdoor implementation. I also did another section on approaches to teaching. So pretty much my teaching practices, what I believe in, and that has to do with thematic units. And I pretty much made a little subheading here where I wrote a little bit more about what I meant by thematic units, um, cooperative learning, um, providing students with choice, whether it's seating or picking the activities that they do, and then hands-on learning as well. And now this is the fun part. So these are some of the videos that I've recorded um, throughout this year and I incorporated in here. Nosotros estamos en una nueva temporada. El okay, so this is how you're going to get it to go into a computer. So you're gonna go into your elements, you're gonna type in frames, and you're gonna see that all of these that have this like little cloud image means that you can drag a picture in there and it'll take the shape of the element. So what I'm looking for now is a computer. So here we have one. So I'm going to go ahead, let me move my video, adjust it to the size that I want. And now you're going to drag your video inside of the element and it'll automatically take the form of the element. Now what I did was I just added a very brief thing here on um, the month and then the skill that we were working on. And I also included this play button. Now, right now this play button serves no purpose, but you'll see in a minute what I did with this play button. And as you can see here, it says click on play button to watch a short clip. So this was great because the admin is able to see exactly what I'm about when I am teaching. So if you have some videos of yourself teaching, you can definitely include that in here. And this way it just kind of looks a little more aesthetically pleasing. Um, as you can see, I did the same thing and I only included four short, short clips because Adam is busy. So keep it simple and short. Okay, so now we have um, exported our digital portfolio and all you're gonna do now is you are going to link the videos. So we're gonna go ahead and select the little play button where you want it to be clickable and I usually do invisible rectangle. You're gonna hit next and you're going to get the link from the videos that you wanna put in. So you're gonna get the link Make sure it says anyone with the link, go back, paste that link, and there you have it. And you're gonna do the same thing for the rest of them. Another cool thing that you can do is if you want to make this even more interactive, you can add like your cover page here. We'll fix this text now. Cover page, letter um, of interest, whatever you wanna call it, if interest, if you wanna add your resume on here, you can also do that. So you'll just maybe move it to a little corner here. What I like to do is I like to underline it this way. Um, it kind of gives that impression that it's already clickable. Typically when you have something that's underlined, it's because it's clickable. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're going to link it. So we're going to highlight the clickable area and then you can have them open a file or open a web page. Now do a web page if it's on drive, this way they can see it very quickly. And similar to what we did before, you're gonna copy the link for that file onto here. This way, when they're there, they'll able to, oh, they'll be able to just click it and it'll take them straight to what it is that you want them to see from your teaching portfolio. So here it is, guys. All right, so once you are done with your portfolio and adding all of the things, you can definitely, you know, go ahead if you wanna add your resume in here, you can definitely do that. If you wanna add anything that I haven't included, please go ahead and do that, feel free. I'm just, I just use um, pictures to kind of reflect my teaching. So 
When you are done, you're just gonna go right up here and you are going to download this. You're gonna download all of your pages. Now, I'm not printing anything, so let's get out of here. Downloading, you're not downloading as an MP4, you're going to be downloading as a PDF print, just because it makes it a high quality. So once you download it, so once you have downloaded, you want to go ahead and also upload this onto your Google Drive. So we're going to go ahead and upload this. So the reason why we're uploading here is so that we can get that link that we need so that we can put it onto our Adobe file once we edit it. Okay, so let me show you exactly what I did to create my resume. So simply what I did was I just created a file on Word and I just saved it with my last name first thing and obviously this one's a copy, but nonetheless, I just pretty much wrote my name up here on the top, my position, so elementary school teacher, and I wanted to add a pop of color, but you obviously don't have to do this. So what I did was I just inserted a shape, a simple shape, a rectangular shape, and I just played with the color that I wanted. Now, you see these cute little clip arts here? Um, I really liked how they were all very cohesive and the way that I found them was, if you go to your insert and you go to icons, there are so many icons that you can use that come embedded with Word and they're very simple and they match with one another. So you don't have to be searching on CPT or anywhere else and they're absolutely free. So I inserted it inside of a text box. So you get your icon, whatever it is that you want, and you insert it inside of a text box. This way it's easy to kind of maneuver. And with your text box, you're going to press right here, this one, in front of text, where that way, if I was to, sh um, if I was to do it like this, do you notice how it kind of adjusts everything? So if you just go right here, it'll allow you to put it wherever you want without it formatting things differently. And then you can just move it with your arrow key. Simple as that. Obviously you're gonna list your objective, something very simple your um, education and then your experience so you list that right here and as you can see it's very simple and also your skills now i have these three selected here and i have a clip here i have an image and kind of like just the text that refers to my digital portfolio once i save this as a pdf i'm going to be able to make this clickable and i'll show you how that works Okay, so now I saved it as a PDF and I'm going to show you how you're going to make this a clickable link. So again, this has to be the paid version or the trial version. So what you're going to do is you're going to simply go to edit PDF and you're going to link it. So you're going to add edit web or document link. You're going to select your clickable area. So this is where I want. If anyone clicks on this selected area, they can be transported into my not transfer, they can be taken to the web page where my digital portfolio is. So you're gonna enter the link here. Now, typically what you wanna do is you want to have it as a Google Drive file. This way it's easy for anyone to access it. So you'd enter your Google Drive link here, which you would get this way. Something else that you can do is make your cover letter interactive and include your digital portfolio within this. So this is my cover letter. And as you can see in this last sentence, I asked them to kindly consider viewing my digital portfolio, which I underlined. This way it's clickable and it catches your attention. So you're gonna do it the same way we did everything else, which is highlight it, go to edit PDF. Once you get there, you're going to go ahead and link it, select the area, and then you're just going to insert the URL from Google Drive. So after you've designed your portfolio, added all the files to Google Drive, and use Adobe to make it clickable, this is what your portfolio may look like. So this is the end of the video. This is a digital portfolio that I created that was able to land me a job um, outside of the state of New Jersey, which is very intimidating, but it's going to be okay. Um, and I guess I should also let you know that I am no longer going to be teaching kindergarten, but as of this summer, I will be teaching first grade. Um, so I'm very excited for the new change and I'm gonna take you along that journey with me as I pack up my classroom, set up my new classroom and plan for all things first grade. 
So thank you so much for watching up until the end of this video. I hope that you did find it helpful, that you're able to take away some ideas, inspiration, and even able to use this digital portfolio if you are seeking employment. And until next time, I will see you all soon. Stay safe and happy learning. Bye. It's what you do